Hey YouTube world, I am back with another video today. I am going to do a very quick review on the YSL Saint Laurent Sunset Bag. Many of you who have watched my Last Chance haul from a couple weeks ago did ask me to do a review um, on this particular bag. And this bag is not anything new. There has been a ton of videos and reviews of this particular bag, but I feel like those are from like 2017, 2018, whenever this bag first came out. The view of that particular bag versus what we see today, of course, talking about pricing might be a little bit different, right? So I'm just going to talk about the functionality of the bags, the weight of the bag, the price of bag, and if I think this is a bag that you should consider or if you think it's going to be worth it for your daily lifestyle and activity. So let's kind of just jump right into it. So here's the bag for those who haven't seen it. I'm just going to lay this dust bag right down here so that the chain is not smacking around and all you hear is the chain. So as you can see, this is a very simple, straightforward bag. And in my opinion, this is actually one that will stand the test of time. It's the traditional rectangular shape. It's nothing crazy where you can see from YSL, they're coming out with very trendy bags like the Ecar, Ecar, Ecare, Ecare tote bag, where it is all the rage for like a hot minute and then you don't hear much about it anymore. And do you really want to drop like $4,000 on something that is not going to last, last you for more than six months, a year, or even two years? There's a reason why YSL still sells this bag on their website. And this is a, a very classic looking bag that is straightforward, right? You've got the YSL logo here. It's a very structured bag. Um, you can see that this is an accordion kind of bag where um, if you fill it up, it might stretch a little bit. This is going to be a smooth leather, but it's not completely smooth where like box calf, this, there's still some sort of leather characteristics to it. On the back, there is a pocket that is large enough for you to put an iPhone 10 in. It's a little bit tight right now because this is a brand new bag here, but I'm sure it will stretch out just a little bit as you are using the back pocket. And I think having a back pocket on your each of your bags is so clutch <laughs> nowadays, right? You need to be hands-free. You're doing something, you're carrying stuff, you're running around after kids or, you know, walking the dog or whatever it is, right? It's just nice to have a pocket where you can put your phone in there without having to open or close any of the bags just to get your access to your phone. In the front here, just opening up, there are two compartments, if you can see that, I mean, it's dark, a dark bag is always hard to film with, but there's two compartments. There's a little pocket here where I have got the, the authentication package here, which you can also put credit cards here if you want. Um, the size of these two compartments are very similar. If you can see that a little bit better and I'll show you what fits in a moment here, but you can see there's a also a front pocket here where you can also put your phone an iPhone 10 in here pretty comfortably if you like. And I was smelling this leather earlier. Oh, it smells so good. It comes with a little crochet where I think it's just the key ring. If you pop that out, it's just a little key ring, which I find this to be kind of pointless. Because what are you going to do? Put keys on here and then just let your keys like scratch out your purse? Absolutely not. So I don't know. It's just for aesthetics probably. Honestly, I find this particular piece a little bit annoying because it's just flapping back and forth, right? But it's part of the design of the bag. When it comes to straps, you can either shoulder it. And I love how there is a leather piece on here. You know how my biggest gripe with chain bags is that if it's fully chain, it slips right off. It's not as comfortable. Whereas if there is a leather strap, it makes it a lot more comfortable. I'm wondering why they don't make it for the two pieces. Maybe perhaps it might look a little weird if you do a shoulder and then, well, I guess no, because other um, YSL 
bags that I have, they do come with two leather straps. And then once it's lengthened to become a, a shoulder bag or a crossbody, the leather piece just sits nicely on the top here. So I'm not sure why they didn't do two pieces of leather straps on this particular chain. But in any case, you can either shoulder it or if you want to lengthen it out, uh, it could be a shoulder, a shoulder bag. It is not long enough for a crossbody. I don't think it matters if you're shorter or if you're taller. I don't think it's just long enough for a crossbody, period. But for reference, I am 5'8". Take for it what you will um, if you think that you can crossbody body with it or not. I will say this is an incredibly heavy bag. Feels like it, but let's go ahead and get the weigh scale out and see exactly how heavy this particular bag is. So this for a smaller medium sized bag, not even a tote, not even like massive where you can use as a work bag. This comes in at two pounds and three ounces. It's so very, very heavy bag. I feel like the chain itself, let me see if I can weigh the chain by itself. I don't know how much that matters because this chain is not detachable, but just out of curiosity. So I think I'm doing this kind of accurately the chain itself is like eight ounces alone so you can see how heavy this bag can get and then quickly for my international friends 10 19 grams 1019 grams uh, I'm like having a mind melt here trying to figure out how to how to read this I've got my Dior pouch. It's empty right now because I actually got a new um, cosmetic pouch, which I'll show you in a second here. But this one is actually pretty flat and it doesn't fit in here. Well, kind of like you just kind of smush it in there, right? And it's got nothing in it. So let's just say it's safe to say that this does not fit in there. So this is my first card holder I bought that is very similar to the Louis Vuitton Kirigami. And this one is going to be bag revamp. Pretty nice. No complaints about this. I do like my dress up your purse one a little bit better because it's much more colorful. This one's just a traditional Vachetta leather, which, you know, I thought I'd switch it up for, for a second and let the other one take a break before I go back to it. But it's the same, pretty much the same size. This can easily fit in here. You've got your iPhone 10. You can either put it in here or if you want, you can put it in the back as well. You can easily fit your keys so I've got my Dior sunglasses case here. I tried to fit this in here and it does not fit. This is the new cosmetic pouch that I got from Amazon. I thought it was adorable. And I actually went to Stony Clover Lane. I think what that's what it's called. I was in Germantown in Nashville and I saw Stony Clover Lane and I saw a couple little girls come out with a bag. I was like, oh, let's go check it out, see what they have. I went in there, again, not to just go on a side tangent here, but I went in there and I was like, oh, these are adorable, very high quality. And I picked up like something like this. It was tiny, a little pouch thing. It was like $80. I'm like, I almost dropped it. I was like, you want how much for this? $80, are you insane? So obviously everything I touched in there was like $180 for a, a makeup pouch and then it was like two or three hundred dollars for nylon i mean given that it is very nice nylon <laughs> and it's like designed for tweens not that there's anything wrong with it but what kind of tween like a teenager the little girl can afford a hundred eighty dollars for a cosmetic pouch where i don't think like 
12 year olds or 13 year olds like have that much makeup to begin with right so, so I, I couldn't justify it I kind of just like touched everything looked at my friend and we just walked out <laughs> So I saw this one and I thought it was incredibly cute. This one was like, I don't know, $12 on Amazon. I'll make sure to link that down below. And you can see that I kind of like the structure of this, whereas the Dior pouch, everything just laid flat, everything just laid flat ver horizontally, right? So you gotta go digging into your purse or your cosmetic pouch to try to find whatever it is you need, like, hey, my Tide pen is at the very bottom and you can't find it, right? Whereas this one's kind of nice because you can just stand everything up and you can easily find, hey, here's my lipstick. Here is my Tide pen. I got my hand sanitizer, right? So it, I feel like this could be a good replacement for the Dior bag. I have had this for a couple months, right? So we'll see. I'll let you know my thoughts on this and it's called Embella. They come in three different sizes. I got the mini one in a neon pink, which I thought it was adorable. So I will tell you, this is not gonna fit into the sunset bag, unfortunately. So if I wanna pair down to the essentials, for example, I want to grab my hand sanitizer and my chapstick or a lip gloss. Wait, no, lipstick, that's a lipstick. I can easily toss that in there. And if you haven't hit the subscribe button, let me know you like my video. Subscribe to my channel as I do more reviews. Let me know what your thoughts on this particular bag as I wrap up this video. And hit that like button. Again, it's all completely free, right? If you want to hear more from my reviews and my unboxings, it definitely will help me out and support me as I'm trying to hit that 1,000 subscribers. So enough of my shameless plug here. Let me go ahead and get back right, right into it. Before I start talking about pricing, how I would approach this particular bag is going to be kind of like a wallet on chain. You can only fit the necessities in this bag. Now, if they didn't have like a separate divider right here, I feel like this bag would be a lot more functional where you can put bulkier stuff like my cosmetic pouch, <clears throat> hand sanitizer, phone. There's just more functionalities with it. So I'm not sure if that's going to prevent you from wanting to purchase this bag. But if you go into thinking when purchasing this bag that this is just going to be a larger size wallet on chain, you will not be disappointed. If you think that you're going to go from morning to night and having just the bare essentials, it might not work out for you. This is kind of like a going out bag, going out to date night, going to a special event. I think this would be perfect. It will work actually better than a wallet on chain because it has a little bit more capacity, but then it's not big enough for an actual bag. Talking a little bit about pricing. So I know there is the rumor of YSL increasing their prices on this particular bag. I don't think there was a price increase, which makes me really happy um, because I think this is actually priced pretty well. There's sometimes deals that you can find, maybe not on the black and the silver hardware because this is a classic color. But if you see the mock croc, if you see it in red, the sunset bag in red, or a little bit in the less classic looking, you might find deals on those particular bags. And if you're okay with that, definitely take advantage of those deals. But if it's for this particular bag, maybe a little bit harder for you to find a deal because this is probably the most popular combination that people want as it matches literally everything in your wardrobe. But this is also a color that will stand the test of time. Black and silver, I mean, do I need to say more? So for this price at $2,700, let us just say you can't find a deal. This probably won't show up in the outlet because of this uh, combination. $2,700, if you approached it with the mentality of this bag is going to last you 10, 20 years at least. And if you treat it like a 
date night bag or if it's a bigger wallet on chain, I think you'll be very happy with it. If you spend $2,700 $2, thinking that this is going to be your everyday bag, I'm sorry to say you will probably be disappointed because there's not enough room for you to put all your stuff to go from morning to night. Obviously, this is not, YSL is not on the same level as a Chanel, but if you look at a Chanel walk, it's like four grand, four-ish, 45, depending on where you get it from. If it's new, if it's, if it's used or if it's uh, brand new, right? Would you rather have a bag that's gonna last you 20 years or would you like to, and it's much more functional than a wallet on change for a date night bag? Or do you want a wallet on chain? I mean, that's just questions I'm asking you. There's no right or wrong answer. You have to ask these questions of yourself before you make these purchases. Will I be keeping this bag? Still mulling over it? I will let you know what I end up doing with this particular bag. I really hope that this was helpful. Like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. I want to cover topics that will help you adult easier. Life is hard. I want to help you save time and money so that you can live your best life and less than retail. I'll see you next time.